so much for your introduction. My name is Susumu Honda, and I'm a Japanese judge. It is a great honor to speak here. Today, I'd like to speak Japan's criminal justice system and victim protecting measure. I'm going to focus on procedural matters in my pro presentation. Current Japanese law has adopted some foreign legal systems. In the late 19th century, Japanese law adopted civil law system, particularly Germany and France, so that criminal procedure, uh, criminal procedure law uh, can be said to be fully based on civil law system. However, after Second World War, Japan adopted common law system, especially the U.S. law in some legal area. In this occasion, criminal procedure law adopted the best characteristics of common law system, such as the adversary system in the court procedure, the hearsay rule, and so forth. Because of the history, Japanese criminal procedure can be considered a hybrid of civil law system and common law system. As first instance, there are district court and summary court. 90% of criminal cases in Japan are handled by district court. Uh, this is a uh, criminal in jurisdiction in Japan. A cyber system has been in place since 21st May 2009, in which the general public participate in the trial and judgment of criminal cases. Three judges and six lay persons handle some certain serious crime cases in district court. The cyber system is the same as the citizen participation system adopted in such as Germany, France, in that the panel is comprised of both cyber and judges. On the other hand, cyber experience is one off. I mean to say, the cyber uh, appointed by random selection from among persons registered in the list of voters from, uh, for each case, which is much like the jury system adopted in the UK, the US, and so on. However, lay persons participate not merely fact-finding, but also sentencing. In other words, cyber in find facts and determine the sentence with the judges. As I described, the cyber system is a distinctive system differing from the citizen participation and the jury systems. This is an image of cyber in trial. Unfortunately, this picture is a little bit small, but there are three judges who are wearing a judge's robe in the center and six ray persons in the both side of the judges. Japanese criminal justice system has lots of victim protecting measures. These measures apply all victims not only victims of human trafficking, but I believe they are useful for victims of human trafficking. Even if limited only in trial procedure, their decisions to conceal the identity of victims, witness protection, accompanying, shielding, video link, statement of opinions, uh, submissions of uh, documents, in place of statement of opinions is also available. Crimes, of, crimes for restitution order, inspection, copying of trial records, victim participation, and so forth. This is a statistic uh, regarding victim protection, protecting measures other than victim participation. As you uh, can see, each measure is very use, uh, very well, uh, I'm sorry, as you can see, each measure is used very well by victims and prosecutors. Japan has commenced 
victim participation system since 2009. I have experienced three victim participation cases, so I'd like to speak with the experience. Entrustment to the attorney is common. In my experience, all three victims entrust to attorneys. Victims may sit next to a prosecutor. In my experience, victims' mother sat behind of prosecutors in one case. However, as you can easily imagine, some victims don't want to sit in courts because of some reasons. So I think entrustment to attorney plays important role in victim participation. Victims have some options including questioning defendants, uh, closing statements, and the recommendation of punishment, etc. In my experience, the attorneys questioned to the defendant on behalf of victims themselves. However, according to report from mass media, victims' parents themselves questioned to the defendant in a few cases. When it comes to recommendation of punishment, recommendation of punishment by prosecution is common practice in Japan, and it plays a very important role when deciding sentencing. I suppose recommendation of punishment by victims is not as important as prosecution's one, but I think it is, character, it is characteristic of Japanese victim participation. In my experience, the attorneys spoke cross st statements and recommendation or, or recommended punishment. Uh, victim participation is also available in the uh, cyber trials. Therefore, judges and lay persons may take account of recommendation of, of punishment by victims when deciding sentencing. This is a statistic regarding victim participation. I'd like to add a complementary explanation. In the third frame from the left, there are brackets. They indicate the number of those who participated in cyber trials. As you can see, the total number of victim participation is gradually increasing since the commencement. I think Participation, uh, I'm sorry. I think victim participation has begun to take root in Japanese criminal justice system. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.